and they've said, listen, your method is really just like Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system, where you're moving things along on a straight line, you hit an obstacle, you calibrate, and you bring it back to the straight line. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I am at one of the beautiful beaches in Florianopolis, Brazil. There's over 42 beaches on the island. Uh, planning to do a lot of mass recording, planning to do a lot of filming across all the different beaches. Um, but I am coming off the aftermath of a new threesome. It's like raining threesomes and foursomes out here. Uh, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Please like and share if you find value. I wanted to make a video about Mystery, okay? He's the guy that I respect the most in the game. He came up with a lot of really solid stuff. Um, his compliance model, I think, is genius. It focuses on stuff from classical conditioning, okay? In terms of you do a compliance test, if it's positive, you reward. If there's a negative reaction, you punish, you build more value, and you retest. I think that's the fundamental uh, crux of all game. Okay, everything is either compliance or non-compliance. Uh, unfortunately, I think he is stuck a little bit in 2006. He told me a couple years ago, we used to talk a lot, he told me a couple years ago he's in the low 300 count. Okay, I guess his lifetime late count. For those of you that follow my channel, um, I've been steadily reporting since 2012 when I first hit 100. Uh, girl yesterday was number 1,250, 1.25K. Okay, why did my progression blow way past his. Okay, the reason is he's largely stuck in 2006. Okay, he built a system which which had a bunch of merits and had a bunch of good stuff in it, um, but it also had a bunch of flaws and suboptimal things and things that were just straight out wrong. Okay, that's unfortunate because it had a lot of promise up front, but it, I wanted to kind of contrast where I've taken things. Okay, I've treated the evolution of game and the, and the construction of my methods and tactics to be an evolutionary process. Okay, I treat this very much like a scientific method, which is why I have that new tagline on the channel of um, putting the science back in seduction. Okay, I am constantly collecting data and speaking to advanced friends, speaking to clients, and then evolving things and optimizing. Okay, so if something isn't working like as good as it could be, okay, or if there's some better way found to do something, okay, I'm always driving in new innovations, then that is how the method changes accordingly. And that is how the system keeps evolving. So I'll put up a, a video here of my lay count progression, okay? And you see it took 10 years to hit my first 100. Okay, then I started doing about 100 a year. I came up to a pinnacle mid-2017 to mid-2018 where I did about 245 new in a year. And now it's between like 120 and 150 a year, okay? It's like a steady, manageable pace while still running like a six to 12 girl rotation or harem of regulars. But the thing is, like for instance, okay, Mystery and I used to talk a lot in, was it must have been like 2016. We were talking on almost daily basis about game. He was saying at that time that he does not take any phone numbers. He, he says if you can't, if you don't have enough compliance to get a girl's Skype, okay, to get a Skype close, then you shouldn't get her contact info in the first place, okay? And what's sad about that is, first of all, most girls don't even know what the fuck Skype is, let alone have Skype mobile, okay? And for those of you that follow my stuff and my, my product, The Leads Machine, okay, which I'll, I'll link to in the description, sexleadmachine.com, I talk about how this game is largely about lead acquisition, which is phone numbers, specifically phone numbers, and then uh, lead management, which is all your texting, objection handling, scheduling, etc., and lead closing, okay, how do you close it on the dates, or if she comes straight to your house, how do you close it from there, okay, and those are the, those are the three main areas of the funnel. He's missing out on putting volume even into that funnel because he's not taking phone numbers. Okay, his method is also a little too slow. He says you need to wait four to ten hours, okay, on average seven hours, he calls it the seven hour rule, to fuck the girl. He's trying to, he tried to define a quantitative level of comfort that needs to be built, okay, namely four to ten hours, whereas I've realized that it's a qualitative level of comfort that needs to be built and, and you can cross that, cross that threshold by doing certain tricks, okay? For instance, without getting all the details, you can say, I'm very picky, I typically um, am not into most girls, but I feel a really special connection with you. I can't really explain it, okay? And that's, that's kind of like a generic uh, one-size-fits-all, but the girl's gonna be like, wow, right? And she might be like, 
What specifically? And you can just describe like things about her, okay? Usually that are non-sexual. There's key things like that, okay? I was just giving a, a Facebook uh, live to my mastermind group. And if you're interested in joining that, you can email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com or john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. And in that mastermind group, we cover different like secret sauce type topics in depth. Okay, and this was on rotations. I'm here with a couple girls, so I keep looking over. I'm here with a couple girls. We had a new threesome last night. Well, one of them is a, a regular. The other one was on the rotation, but we hadn't brought them together for a threesome before. It's raining threesomes out here. They were giving their inputs on how you keep a go around and stuff like that. And they were saying like it's important to set plans by the end of the first time. But anyways, I want to make this video. I really think that Mystery is, is still a guy I respect and, and the greatest um, contributor to the community um, from the past, from the old school figures. But I do believe the Mystery Method has inherent flaws in it, inherent things that are suboptimal. I think it could really benefit by Mystery and I kind of coming together, so to speak, and going over all the technical details in my approach. And I can explain to him why each of the things is better the way I've kind of evolved and optimized the system and upgraded it as well as um, show him data that supports each of those things. Okay, so I'm going to try to get him on my channel. He, when I brought up this idea to him before, he was, he was kind of having the whole big head approach that uh, when you Google pickup artist or, or ask Siri to show you a pickup artist, they show him and not me, right? And he's, he's you know, he is in a league of his own, whatever, but the results speak for themselves. and I, I genuinely have far surpassed him, okay, both in my technical ability. I'm 36, he's about to be 50, low 300s, not that great of a respectable count for a, you know, a veteran in the game. Okay, and of course, he, when I told him my count, and back three years ago I was hundreds lower, but you know, he said, oh, well, you must not be keeping quality very high. But that's a myth that you actually can't have good, like, consistent good quality if you have a high quantity, okay? Those two things are not... Um, mutually exclusive. You can ha I've kept my quality very high throughout. I documented like 200 different closes on Instagram in a row before it got banned. And um, you can still bang lots of chicks without sacrificing quality, okay? Kind of in closing, okay? Um, I think his method is like a little bit too slow, a little bit too tame. I think things like negs are overemphasized. They're not necessary. There needs to be a more general focus on compliance in general, and then moving things forward along this straight line. Okay, people that have taken my, my live trainings before, my, or bought my products, I've had uh, famous sales, tra sales trainers and stuff like this, and they've said, listen, your method is really just like Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system, where you're moving things along on a straight line, you hit an obstacle, you calibrate, and you bring it back to the straight line. Okay, and I know where all the major points are happening, where people are going to encounter things deviating off that straight line and I know how to optimally bring them back. For instance, in a nightclub, I've, been, I've identified the 14 main objections you get. Okay, typically there's like these top three and exactly what to say when those comes up. It's not, it's not like, oh, this thing happened by surprise and I, there's, I don't know what to do. I've defined exactly what to do. Okay, over text message in the leads machine, I've done the same thing. Okay, link in the description, sexleadmachine.com. In that, I've identified all the major objections that can happen over text when you're trying to meet up with the girl and exactly what you do in each of those situations in order to bring things back to that straight line and move it forward. Okay, so all your, your guesswork is removed over text for every situation. There isn't gonna be any curveballs. I'm defining exactly what to do, like for instance on like Tinder, exactly what your app messaging should entail, okay, or consist of, and then exactly how to move them to WhatsApp or, or SMS text, and then exactly what to do there to get them on the date. Okay, and I tell you exactly how to set up your pictures. And then from there, all you have to do is just close the date. I define how to do that as well. So these, these key pieces on the straight line, okay, my products can take you most of the way there. And then you just have to master the in-person stuff. You don't need to be um, some game master, okay, to copy paste my fucking text sequences on the online apps or over text message. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just wanted to put out this general video identifying some major differences between me and Mystery Method and giving some history behind it. I hope to get him on my channel very soon. Please subscribe below if you have not already. Like and share for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to tend to these ladies. Signing out from Florianopolis during quarantine 2020. I'm John Anthony, take care.
Some do it for the income But we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum